Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. In this video, I'm working on week three from 2018. So the first thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is add my photo. So sometimes you see me and my photos are already in place, uh, but it is definitely the first thing that I do when working on a spread is putting the photos in place. And then I know how many spots I have available for journaling or some other designer, more stylish cards that I want to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my uh, three by four cards in half. You can see that I've done a white border on these this time. I think last week I did a white border on the four by six cards and just kind of swapping that design for this week. So if you are interested in how I created the border on those three by four cards so that they were all equal when I cut them in half, I do have a video and I will link it below and actually put it in the right hand corner. So you can just go ahead and look at that if you are interested. It is another video that I do in Lightroom, but you could also do it in Photoshop as well. You just gotta make sure you've got the right measurements. When you cut it in half, they are equal. So today I'm actually using bits and pieces that are left over from the Allie Edwards change story kit. So they were sitting on my desk um, right above where I was working. And so I, you know, kind of pulled from some of the same supplies, which is really awesome because if you see my week two video, I use the Allie Edwards um, kit as well. And I love that I'm able to use the kit twice and have them look very different. You could maybe say they look very different because of the photos, but I tend to think they look very different just because I'm using the supplies differently or I'm using different supplies in the kit. So I like that it create, that I'm able to create multiple spreads, multiple uh, project life spreads and also scrapbooking from one kit. So there's definitely a lot that you can do with one kit. All right, moving on to this three by four card that I'm creating. So you saw that I used a pre-printed three by four card to kind of measure out seven spots. So what I really wanna do is I want to do a Monday through Sunday and just kind of give an idea or maybe like a little blurb, maybe the main thing that happened that day um, on this card. Nothing that's um, too in depth, obviously, because I only have really a sentence to write about each day. I'm doing that because it's interesting, this week I ended up taking, I don't think I ended up taking very many pictures with my Canon, I should just say pictures in general, until it actually snowed, and it snowed on Saturday. So there was a couple pictures that I took, literally like three photos that I took throughout the week, and then the rest were on Saturday, and that's totally fine with me. That happens from time to time. But because I didn't have a great representation visually of this week, I thought that maybe writing a blurb about each day would maybe be the best way to tackle this. So that's why I'm creating this card. And I've done this before, and I feel like I wanna make a card like this in mass production just because I love them so much and I love the ability to just write a little bit of what was going on to give a little bit more context, context as well. So the stamp set that I used was from Studio Calico. I think it was a Studio Calico collaboration maybe with One Little Bird, I can't really remember. Um, I've had them for a little bit. I think they came in one of their kits. And um, I like that they fit right in those spots and I like that they were pretty big and bold. So you will definitely see me make this card again because I liked it so much. Then I just went ahead and underlined in black and I set it off to the side instead of doing the journaling right away because the ink that I used was the Versa Fine Ink and I wanted to make sure that it was, it's it's the black is a, is a pigment ink and I wanted to make sure that it was dry before I start writing on it and smudging everything because that is definitely something that I tend to do. I always end up smudging me, uh, ink around. So I'm just waiting on that. And as I'm waiting, I'm going through some more cards. Uh, th these are all from Studio Calico. So I could have used looked through some of the ones from the change kit, but I had used several in the week before and there wasn't really a story that I wanted to tell that is related to change just you know, up front. The one card that I did use from that kit, the Today's Goals, that is a card that came from the kit. It was actually a packet um, or a pack of cards. So there's multiples that I can use. 
And I, I really like that. I like the ability that, um, you know, it could just be a very short story. Like what I did here, I think it talks about like, our goal for today was to have fun and play in the snow. I kind of wish that I had typed it out just to do something a little bit different, especially because that card, the paper, is a little bit thinner. But I, did, I didn't think about it at the time, so handwriting it is just fine with me. Now you can see that I'm going to go ahead and fill in... Uh, fill in what went on during the week. I actually did have to go and look at my book just to make sure I was telling the story that I wanted to tell for that week or just writing the little blurb that I wanted to from that week. So now I'm looking at some of the other embellishments. Again, just pulling from that change kit that's like sitting right above me as I'm looking at some of those supplies. That title card that I'm using actually came from Allie Edwards' fun story kit. That's no longer available, but all of her kits, um, if you are not subscribing to them, definitely check out when she has her yearly sale. I think she does it twice because you can buy a uh, digital copy of those as well. So then you could just print out that card. That card, the title card says celebrate this. And so I just thought celebrate this change, uh, which is basically what happened this week. Because if you can see that photo of the sky, that was on a Thursday night. And then the picture of the snow was, it started on Friday night, but that was from Saturday morning. So that was a huge change because on Thursday, it was 52 degrees at nine in the evening, which is so warm. It was very spring-like all week until we had the snowstorm. So that's why I thought celebrate this change would be a good thing to add to this week because it was um, such a big change and we were really excited to get the snow. I'm a fan of winter around here when it's winter. When it's summer, I want it to be summer. And when it's winter, I want it to be winter. So I've really missed having um, the snow last year. It was like major snowstorms. So I'm glad that we were able to get some. It snowed all day Saturday. And I think we ended up with uh, over 15 inches or something like that. So it was pretty exciting. So I was happy that I was able to share so many photos uh, from that event. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I pulled over the uh, phrase stickers that actually came in the change story kit. Again, I'm pulling for from those same supplies. And I thought that it would be, I like the idea of having them, you know, dispersed throughout the spread on the photos. They were gray, they were, um, they're not adding a lot of color, but they are adding some texture and dimension to the spread. And again, helping to create some balance as I'm spreading them out. So I thought that it would, you know, help kind of tell the story a little bit more. And these phrase stickers are really great because while they go with the change kit, they're really great for, you know, the sentiments would work with so many things like their sentiments like remember this and love this and things like that. So while there are some things about change on there, there's also some sentiments that would go with anything. All right, so moving back to my title card, I decided to then put the change on there. I just added some of my stamp runner, just some adhesive on there. And then I just went ahead and I'm stamping the dates. You can see that it didn't stamp out 100%. So I am, you know, just trying to fix that the best I can. It's not that big of a deal. I did, it was the um, the year that didn't stamp out so well. And I know it's 2018 because I said it, you know, cause it stamped out in the first one. So I just gotta be better about remembering to kind of rock that stamp set a little bit more. So it, it stamps all the way. So you can see that I've added, um, I added some foam to the back of these phrase stickers. And the reason why I did that is because number one, I wanted to see if I liked having them on the photos because if I stuck it right down, I wouldn't be able to pull it back off. So putting that foam on the back is allowing me to have it sit on top of those photos to see if I like it. But I also really like the added dimension instead of just sticking the sticker right onto the photo, it's kind of popping it up making it stand out a little bit and I really like that. So um, I decided to go ahead and do that. I think the only one I didn't do it was that photo that has the love word on it because I don't know, I didn't, I wanted the love to kind of pop up. So I put the word phrase sticker kind of sitting down right onto the photo. So you can see that I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to add all of the phrase stickers right onto the photo. You see that I'm using some tweezers to help me put it on um, right on the photo. And the reason why is because 
Some of these are a little bit smaller and of course they're thin and when I'm using my fingers they get in the way and so I'm not able to really see if it's centered or if it's going on exactly where I want it to. So the tweezers help a ton. I would totally suggest having tools like this in your toolkit that you can use to put on fray stickers and especially the alpha stickers. I really love them for that because then it allows me to be able to make sure the word that I'm putting on is straight and even. So I love them for that as well. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that photo down a little bit. It just needed to be cut down a little bit more so I could stick it in. And I think this is when I maybe finally decide on the cards that I want to use. So I kind of pull, pull out the oh yeah. And then this last word phrase sticker, instead of putting it on a photo, I decide to use it to create my own journaling card. Again, I really love that these word phrase stickers have phrases on there that are great jumping off points for your journaling. So definitely check those out. I really love that they were a subtle um, gray as well because then I, you know, as I'm dispersing it throughout the spread, I didn't feel like I was, um, you know, adding a big bold color. So I really liked that about uh, these ones this time. So I just went ahead and I'm adding my journaling then right onto the card. And I don't know if I show this in the video, actually. I don't think that I do if I remember my editing. But I end up, uh, when I'm finished with this spread, I end up actually pulling this card back out and putting a border around the outside, just a black border with my pen. You see that I do that a lot, but for whatever reason, I felt like it was kind of getting lost and it needed something to kind of ground it. So I just went ahead and I end up do putting a, just a thin black border around it. And then one last thing, because again, because these supplies were out and I was looking at them, oftentimes, that's one of the best way to use your supplies is just have them out because then you're pulling from them and you're getting ideas as you're going. I decided to pull this gold heart. I used these in week two as well and just decided to stick it on the Oh Yeah um, card. I don't use it anywhere else, but that's totally fine with me. I thought it would be just a really fun little pop of something there. Anyway, you guys, I am done with week three. While I'm looking at this, one of the things I find interesting is the majority of the color is coming from the photos this time instead of any of the cards, which is very different from week two if you go ahead and check that out. Oh, and also you can see this is when I take it out and add the border on there. So I did go ahead and capture that as well. So you can see what a difference what a difference it makes once I have the border on there. I definitely like it. Uh, you may or may not, I don't know, but that it's just something that I like. I felt like it really, uh, really added to it. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you guys supporting my channel. Like always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.